The greatest athlete in the world is actually someone you've never heard of. But here's a clue. He became a legend in two different sports and at one point had Olympic medals taken away from him. Have a guess? When you talk about the greatest athletes in every sport, you think of Michael Jordan, Lionel Messi, Tom Brady, Floyd Mayweather, and Usain Bolt. But what if I told you there was actually someone way better than all of those guys combined and he's just six foot one, weighed 200 pounds, and lived in Oklahoma. To find out who he is, we have to rewind all the way back to the early 1900s and visit the Carlisle Island Industrial School in Pennsylvania. One day while coach Pop Warner was training the track team on their high jumps, one student wearing street clothes decided to give it a try. With barely any warm up, he broke the high school record for the highest jump on his first attempt. And from there, the greatest athlete was born. Pop Warner took him under his wing and helped him learn every sport possible. Literally, he played baseball, basketball, football, track, billiards, hockey, lacrosse, but there were always two sports he excelled in more than the others, track and football. His name is Jim Thorpe, and Jim played as Carlisle's running back, safety, kicker, and punter, and sometimes even outscored opposing teams by himself. In one of his games, Thorpe had a 92-yard run nulled by a penalty that sent them back five yards. But on the next play, Jim ran the ball again, and this time ran for 97 yards. Once he graduated, Jim went back to training for the five-event pecathlon and 10 event decathlon in the 1912 olympics which was technically all of these events rolled into one but just one moment after the event started jim's shoes were stolen instead of throwing in the towel jim searched the trash can and found the first shoes he could find each shoe was a different size but what was the end result jim won eight of the 15 competitions and took home two gold medals unfortunately the olympic committee took back jim's medals after they discovered he played minor league baseball for 35 dollars a few weeks before the event from there jim played six seasons in the mlb for four different teams and played his last season with a batting average of 327. once that was over jim played eight more seasons in the nfl became the first NFL president in 1920 and played until the age of 41. If you thought all that wasn't enough, Jim also won first place in the Intercollegiate Ballroom Dancing Championship in 1912 and has a statue in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But once his playing days were over, Jim struggled to find a job outside of sports and spent most of his money on alcohol until he eventually went broke. While Jim's story shows how much he changed the entire sports world, it also highlighted the issues athletes have been around for over 100 years with what to do with their money. And the reports claiming almost 70% of NFL players go broke five years after retirement, it's an issue that will probably never go away anytime soon.